Hello everyone, thank you for watching. I have a few charts here. This is the first one when they made the fake phone call um, to the police. Uh, this one here is when they were actually caught at 7 o'clock on the 1st of March. And then behind here was the arrest of her. This is that chart there, so the beginning of the rest, the arrest. Now, all of these charts show us similar things, so I'm going to point them out to you. So, you may remember, if you go back to the other videos, oops, um, this is the original chart here, okay? So, even though it was a lie, it still gave us a time and the police were involved and everything happened at that time like he said himself in his own words that's when it all what did he say? that's went when down. it all went down I can't remember what he said now when we're looking for children we look at the moon so one degree varies we've got to keep that in mind now so the perpetrator here was this area at the time Capricorn an older male or a male figure that looks after somebody and then we have three people inside the seventh house um, so you know there's definitely three people that know what's going on but what captured my attention was this this stood out to me really clearly because of the third house I like to know the communication of what's going on at the time 29 degrees of Leo makes um, an aspect here to the sun in Sagittarius and then the dispositor of that is Jupiter in the seventh house. Now the sun at zero degrees of Capricorn and then Mercury at one degree of Capricorn shows another to me shows that in the communication going on there is a male, his two children and other children right there. So the third house is also vehicles and where, how we travel, right? So there was a fire that he set on one of the, the seats alight in an RV. I read this tonight. I didn't know anything about this. If you caught my live, you'll note that I mentioned that they're in a moving home and I had no idea how many or the moving home situation that, the, that they had. So this third house at 29 degrees of Leo is very hot. It's aspecting the sun. It's very, very hot. Fire. Fire. The boys. I'm concerned that the boys were actually in that vehicle. Um, so, not only that, the end of the matter is in Virgo. Virgo is ruled by Mercury. Mercury rules the third house, which rules travelling as well. So, in a vehicle. Okay. At 7pm when, when they were arrested in said vehicle, unbelievably, up here we have 29 degrees of Leo, so that third house there is the 12th house cusp. The 12th house is secrets and things being uncovered, okay? The third house cusp is 23 degrees of Scorpio, ruled by Mars, which is right next to Venus, in the fourth house of the home. So that's like the mo a moving home. Um, but not only that, a moving home is determined like this. This is a home, sort of a static home, the fourth house. Something that moves long distances, short distances, whatever, home, is a ninth house thing. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This area here, so ruled by 29 Leo, 
the same vehicle and then Virgo which is ruled again by Mercury down here in the fifth house of children so I believe that this is showing us that it's very very possible that and to me, that's her and that's him both at 26 degrees of Capricorn um, right next to Pluto up here in this in the first one so um, yeah this just this really shows this to me okay so anyway the um, if we looked at this like the perpetrator was caught the seventh house we've got Pisces Pisces is ruled by Jupiter Jupiter's natural rulership is Sagittarius and that is the end of the matter at 26 degrees which is making an exact aspect to that DC and to the AC so we, ha we actually have a T square forming from the end of the matter to the physical bodies to the perpetrator so I actually have a feeling that the police do in fact know where the boys are they just haven't found them yet so the next chart is this one and this was when she was actually arrested now this one's interesting because again there's that fourth house stuff but now the 12th house is in Virgo so like it over here but ruled by Virgo so again it goes back to Mercury and Mercury is down here again in the fifth house next to Saturn so these are all different times and Mercury and Saturn are com consistently in this fifth house they're conjunct exactly so there's the deceased body of the boys their death and the siblings as well here both at 18 degrees now that was just a side note the third house cusp is Sagittarius ruled by Jupiter at 14 degrees now the 12th house if we have a look down here 14 degrees of Virgo so Jupiter the ruler of right here at seven o'clock by 806 is making an aspect with that hidden 12th house exactly so she spilled the beans she's told the information she has done that so he's been ar arrested at seven o'clock I think that was the case well she was as well take you know I don't know if they were together or who was in the in the van but she's the singing canary that's for sure so in every chart we've got a connection between the third house Jupiter the 12th house and then remembering that Jupiter was in that seventh house at zero degrees at the very beginning as well so I'm gonna stick with the theory um, well I have my main theory is is that they were they were killed inside I feel as though that they were actually murdered inside the home in Bakersfield or in their mobile home in Bakersfield and then when they moved from Bakersfield to California in um, September if we can find out the date that they moved it's probably one or two days after they've gotten rid of sincere and classic so Uranus here in the eighth house which keeps popping up in the eighth house of all the charts is showing me as well that she's going to use especially connected to this Mercury here she is going to use those boys as it was um, the only way she could possibly get out of it and plead not guilty and all the rest of the stuff that they're doing is by saying that an accident occurred and that the other boys killed them by mistake because I well I can't imagine them saying the other boys killed them on purpose um, so to me this is the 
accident alibi. Now, let's look at the map quickly because it's some very definite things going on here. When they went missing, the moon was at one degree of Aries. When their parents, uh, adopted parents were arrested, the moon was at four degrees of Pisces and three degrees of Pisces. So we've got a little wedge between Pisces and Aries. It goes up to the Kern River and has some interesting things. So let's have a look. Okay, so this is the home in Bakersfield. This line here is one degree of Aries, the moon. This line here is four degrees of Pisces, which is the moon. So we have a little wedge there. I'm just going to go out. And we're going out as far as um, the IC degree on the arrest chart, actually. Um, but also it matches a couple of other things as well. But you can look at my other videos for that. So something really interesting that caught my eye as I was scrolling, because what I always do is start at the house and then just slowly look up like this. I was looking and looking and then saw this wake and bake 25 cap, 25 degrees Capricorn. Venus, 26 degrees Capricorn. Mars, 26 degrees Capricorn. That to me was amazing that there's a place called Wake and Bake, 25 Cap, in between the two <laughs> lines that I'm looking at. So, I don't know. I, I, liked, I, I liked to see that I was interested in that. Now, if you watch my live today, and you'll notice that I talked about the MC of the arrest chart being Pisces, and uh, sorry, of the original chart, and then the moon being at one degree of Aries. So we're going from water to a slope. So as I come out here, I see this area here, slope soaring along the Kern River. So well, the Kern River here, I'm not. Now, you know, we can't be 100% with everything, so you know, we need to think out the box and go a little bit further as well. Um, but absolutely, I would be going around this area. We've got water and slopes, literally. Um, that's what the chart dictates, that's what it shows. Um, I'm not even 100% sure whether this is the exact area that I showed before. Um, Maybe moving out a bit. I remember there was an intersection. It's hard to remember with all the cases. It could have been down this way, actually. Anyway, regardless, I'm interested in this area between here and here. Um, something I found out was the police did look in this area here, this vacant block of land, weirdly, actually, on Cottonwood Road. Now, this is the ascendant of the arrest chart. If anyone knows where they were interesting to know, um, but I just really don't get the feeling that they're down there. Um, I'm really thinking definitely more along the lines of this area here. Um, here's another intersection line around this Pontemac Ave. Um, I'm sure that's been looked at though. It'd be weird if that wasn't. Um, through this Martin Luther Park, uh, across the East California Ave, through all of these areas. There's so much here have a look if you know where anybody worked or anybody else lived or anything like that. Um, oh, the state route. That was where I think we were looking at before with the Kern River. It must meet up. Uh, 
now. I'm not sure. But anyway, I won't carry on. This is the wedge that needs looking at. It goes to the Kern River again. Um, as I mentioned in my live today, we've got water and then we've got slopes. So if I drew this line a little bit further, I'd be interested in this area here. Lots of driving areas, lots of bush, a trail. Phone towers maybe, maybe it was pinged. Anyway, that's the area, I'm sticking with it. And I think that we're going to find that they actually know probably where the boys are, but they're just not letting out at the moment. Um, look at that mobile town. They're mobile. They're, they're, they've used a vehicle in this. I keep saying throwing the children under the bus, which they've done. Um, I think personally that they're going to use the fact that they, well, they're going to say that there was an accident and the other children were involved because of their rambunctious wrestling a perfect excuse for them disgusting human beings I hope they get the entire book thrown at them and they should bring back the death penalty in places like that in situations like that if they have forced the hands of children to kill other children I'm starting to think perhaps that it's more informational um, and things that they've seen those poor poor kids um, yeah, we'll keep an eye on it, see what happens. There's rumour and things that I have seen that are saying that there are even two more missing children from these people. So it's not going to be the last we hear of it. But I believe that they will be found soon. I'm going to leave a link to the map below. If you like this, subscribe, like, notifications, all that stuff. Um... If you don't, that's cool. Um, if you can search, that's where I would be searching. And I'll leave the link down below. Okay, take care everyone. Bye.